Sobosly admits that he may have set the bar too high in his debut season, see also that Liverpool will not give up on Darwin Nunez after action on social media. Hello fans, this is Liverpool's news channel, so you can stay up to date with all the news about the Reds, subscribe to the channel, and leave your like on this video. Dominic Sobosly admitted he may have set the bar too high for his debut season at Anfield, with an impressive start to the season before a dip in production, the Hungary captain arrived last summer and instantly impressed with the energy and drive he injected into the midfield, something Jurgen Klopp's side sorely lacked. Sobosly started all but eight of the first 29 games before suffering injury, with two separate stints due to the same hamstring injury, keeping him sidelined for 10 games, he hasn't been the same since, and that can be said of a number of players who have returned from injury, with the number eight only completing 90 minutes twice since the start of March. Having started the campaign well before going down, Sobosly acknowledged that his expectations for his first season at Liverpool may have been higher than realistic, maybe I set the bar too high because I think there were certain matches where I wasn't able to get the best out of myself, he said in an interview with MLSC TV. Or there are times when you don't play well and in some people's eyes you're the worst player on the field, but that's not a problem because we get through those things together, Sobosly has thick skin when it comes to criticism, evidently, and he is clearly self-conscious when it comes to dips in his performances. As for what the 23-year-old had to learn quickly after moving from Leipzig to Liverpool, he said, the Premier League is faster, here we don't have as much time to think as in the Bundesliga, here you really need to know what you would like to do with the ball before you receive it, because if you don't you have pretty much no chance. And if players are exhausted, as Sobosly seemed to be in recent weeks, the ability to do just that becomes clearly more difficult, with two games to go, Sobosly has made 43 appearances this season so far, returning 7 goals and 4 assists, and it will be intriguing to see how Arn Slot utilizes him in 2024-25. Darwin Nunez's future has been thrown into the spotlight with his performances, but there is no current indication he will go anywhere in the summer, Liverpool's number 9 has endeared himself to fans since he joined the club in 2022, but he has also become equally frustrated with missing big chances and constantly being offside. He is still just 24 and has 33 goals and 17 assists in 94 appearances, but with plenty of changes coming in the summer, questions have arisen over his future, the male's Lewis Steele, however, noted that there is currently no indication that Liverpool are in a rush to give up on Nunez after just two seasons. The caveat is that they would struggle to recoup the mega fee they paid, which could rise to £85 million, somewhat tying an arm behind Liverpool's backs when assessing Nunez's future, Nunez has been widely credited with being a signing for Jurgen Klopp and his departure in the summer, in addition to the change in the club's pecking order, will see the number 9 defenders dwindle quickly. There is a player there, but Nunez deleting all traces of him in a Liverpool shirt from his Instagram, in addition to his haggard body language, shows a player who may have indicated his desires, with Liverpool paying a hefty transfer fee and Nunez under contract until 2028, it cannot be as simple as the Uruguayan leaving if indeed he does. Nunez's future will undoubtedly continue to be debated throughout the rest of the season and into the summer, but we can be sure that Liverpool will not make any hasty decisions as they face their biggest summer move in almost a decade. As a fan, comment below, in your opinion should Liverpool give up on Darwin Nunez? Leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news from the Reds.